You want to go outside? You want to go outside? All right, come here. That's me in the mornings. Yeah. Buzz is going to get run over. Yeah, hold on, Buzz. Go get him. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're already muddy. <laughs> Ew, it's humid. Look at that mud. Yuck. We used to be able to park there. But we're going to have nice weather, right? The next couple days? Yep. Yep, it's going to be raining down sunshine. No, water. <laughs> so no. <laughs> <laughs> More flooding. More flooding. Yay. Yeah, there was a bunch of snails here last night. Were there really? Yeah. I, I Where'd they it. go? I don't know. Yeah, they had to get by. Where do they this. go? I don't know. But look, you yeah, you can see the snail trails. You can see all of them. Oh wait. Huh? Something right there. Huh? They're on the awning. What? <laughs> look, there's, there's like two or three over there. I can't do you really see, them? see them. And then there's one up there. What are you doing, little guy? What the heck? I'm already fed up with the office a little bit. Uh, just don't want to be there without uh, some resources that I'm trying to go get. So I'm actually going to head out to Round Rock, which is like an hour away from here. Uh, so I've already made a few calls this morning and now I just want to go, but already stuck by a train. So as you can see, this is part of San Marcos life right here. Just constant trains. So uh, I'm gonna run and do that real quick and then I'm actually gonna head back into the office uh, or pick up Blair uh, to take her to the gym. Depends on when I actually get back uh, to uh, the San Marcos area. Now the proud owner of a library guard. That's the resource I was talking about. Uh, so it actually uh, lets me know what, like what is around my area, things like that. I'm, I've been looking forward to actually working that a little bit. It's weird the things in adulthood that you get excited about. Library cards. I don't know. I guess I got excited when I was a kid because I, I, more books I read, I can actually get points to earn pizza. They don't do that anymore. I don't know, adulthood. But uh, tonight is actually our first big show, I guess like long show, just to change gears, I guess completely. So uh, we don't know if it's gonna happen or not. So it's a three hour show at a, a place called The Grove, which is right next to Green Hall. And that's a pretty big venue. Uh, so Green Hall is. Uh, the Grove, I don't know much about. It's fairly new compared to Green Hall, but uh, apparently it's, it's up there still. And so if we get in there, play a good show, uh, then that opens some doors uh, to a few more places that we really want to play. So, uh, looking forward to that one, but for s I really doubt it's going to happen. Uh, it's supposed to just pour tonight. And so if it gets canceled, I think we still get a little payment, but then also get to reschedule it automatically. So either way, that's a good thing. So the band is sort of rooting for a big rainstorm just because the singer is also sick right now. So a lot of things happening, uh, we're just waiting to hear. We won't know until about 3 p.m. today. It's currently 10 a.m. Uh, so I'm gonna head back into San Marcos, uh, see what I can get into with this new library card I have, and I don't know, see where my day goes. All right, so this is not good. Uh, not even close to being back yet, and then the storm's rolling in, I think, right now. So uh, I haven't even made it through Austin yet. It's about all I'm gonna get out of this trip besides a lot of anxiety, so. Hopefully it holds off a little bit.
just texted me and said that their show is apparently canceled. Um, the weather has been actually decent today until about 3.30. It got dark real fast. It's been thundering. Brady, go potty. <laughs> it starts to rain. <laughs> Anyway, so they, they're not playing their show tonight, but they are going to practice, which is Casey's house is like maybe 20 minutes from here. So they're gonna go, they're gonna practice, and then he's gonna come back, which puts my mind at ease because I was worried about him having to drive, about the roads possibly flooding, about me going into labor. <laughs> so there's there kind of a lot on my mind. So um, I'm definitely a lot more at ease about tonight. Uh, I don't have to worry about him driving as far or coming back as late because I wasn't going to be able to make the show either, which kind of bummed me out. So they will reschedule um, and hopefully I'll get to go to the next one. All right, guys, so good and bad news. Uh, the show has been canceled, so I can actually head back to Blair sooner rather than later. But uh, the downside is we still are practicing. Uh, it's not really a downside. I guess it's just not heading home quite yet. Uh, but I'm not far from home, so that's really good. It hasn't started raining, but it's definitely threatening. And apparently it's raining kind of uh, west of New Braunfels, which literally that's where we are going. Uh, apparently the, I keep saying apparently. The uh, production agency for the place that we we're playing uh, canceled it because they look at barometric pressure rather than looking at actual rainfall. So I'm glad that they do that. We were l literally about to head out and then we got the news. And so I'm glad we didn't actually leave. That saved us a lot of time, a lot of effort. Uh, I still got my drums tuned. That's what I was really concerned about. Anxiety is somewhat off now. So uh, I can head back to Blair whenever I need to. I can even come home with food. So. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. I need to give her a call about that after practice. Yeah, things are looking good. I'll hopefully show some of the practice. Maybe. 